Hey everyone, Jengar here. Now we're looking at the Heart of Iron starting screen. Heart of Iron is a real-time, possible World War II grand strategy game. One of the reasons I started playing War Thunder, by the way, because I was micromanaging the plane so much that I thought, wow, these planes are fantastic. Let me, let me, I want to fly them. But anyway, that's a different uh, topic. Hearts of Iron 4 will be released in the first half of 2016. And to get back into things, I wanted to do a playthrough with Germany. Get a little bit of the feel, get a little bit of the hang of it again. I've put things on normal difficulty and uh, victory conditions. I changed it a little bit to make it a little harder. I took away easy things like uh, Paris and Leningrad and Stalingrad. I put in things like uh, Gibraltar, Baghdad, um, Delhi and Sydney in the victory conditions to make it a little bit more difficult. Also Vladivostok is in there. So we've uh, made a setup. I did some pre-work because I'm a micromanagement. I really like to do the, the chain of command, the hierarchy, put the right generals in the right commands. So I will show you what I did. Let's jump into it. Now the AI in this game, I have never really trusted. That's why, at least for me, when I play a game like this, I do everything myself. It may take a little bit more time here and there, but I think it's worth it. Now what I did is uh, the general setup. I don't have everything done yet, but this kind of things, uh, the theaters, put your best generals in there. Then you've got the um, the army groups or Heeresgruppe in German. I like to keep that a little bit more historic. You've got uh, another one here, and you've got uh, I put up some armies, put in the right commanders there. Now I have commanded to uh, I have a first full army that's gonna be stationed here. My plan is to make a second army here and make two or three armies along this front. What I also did is, let's check out all the, the tabs. In the, the diplomacy screen is basically you've got here the uh, events. We're gonna work for uh, reoccupation first. That's why I'm moving some troops to the border with France. I also did some trades to sell away some supplies and to buy some oil and rare metals. You don't want to be running out of that, so I want to have a supply. You don't have to top it off because you will, every time you capture a capital, you will get resources as well. But you still want this to be positive up until the point where you attack the Soviet Union. So that's what we're going to do, that's what we're going to try to aim for. We're going to have to micromanage that as well, because I don't trust the AI for shit. We've got nothing in the here yet, so that's the that's, that's three, let's see. Um, we've queued up something, we've got some upgrades to do, but I've put it down to about 25, and I will slowly do the upgrades that way. Reinforcements. Supplies, I've put up to 17 right now, it will pop up just now, we sold some supplies to um, Soviet Union and America. We're gonna see what that can do, what that will do, and the, what the consumer goods always put it up a little bit uh, above the number required so that you keep positive. So you keep this positive, the descent, you wanna keep that positive. If you, have, if you don't have enough consumer goods, the descent is gonna go down. I've put up a little bit of a queue, I left these three ships in the queue, I put up some industry. You really want to build your industry a little bit as well. So I've put up 10 industrial capacity and uh, the, my first um, SS unit, some, a panzer and uh, some infantry. Now what I'm aiming for is to have around 15 panzers before Poland starts, 50 Panzer divisions, 
and um, I also want to fill out my con uh, concurrent units so I'm making brigades as well to add to those units what further plans I have is to improve the roads which I'm doing right now and I also want to fill out the, the headquarter units I want to make them combat units as well that is something that I have experimented for before in the past you know put a tank unit in, in a, a one tank brigade in every headquarter unit and that makes them it makes it possible to fight and it also makes it possible for those generals to get more traits which is nice now we also put in a, a, a fighter interceptor and a, and a stuka no further ships we will build some ships here and there but not in the beginning because we do want to attack England of course so we need that as well um, technology we've put up technology put up the infantry in this first infantry screen in the armor screen we're working on tanks and a little bit of armored cars we will expand that as we get more leadership I've put a few things here you do want to uh, work on your navy I want to attack the US in this game so we'll see how that goes put a little bit of attention to these to these bigger ships the heavy cruisers the battle cruisers we will work on that as well bombers we only put up one because most of these are in 39 and you don't want to be ahead of time too much I only put agriculture up as one that we want to work on yeah when it turns uh, 37 we want to start working on this fighter technology for the Germans is pretty high in the beginning and when we pop uh, to uh, 1937 we will start on this as well industrial production and efficiency is very good supply production is very good and education is very good but we don't want to start that early secrets nothing unlocked yet theory we've put a few things in theory this definitely helps the research bonuses you'll get so you want to basically work on most things and put them in the right order what of importance what you want to work on first doctrines land doctrines very important this one 48 hours operational level organization we want to don't forget that one and also don't forget this one infantry warfare is one but your morale is in this one so you gotta really pay attention that the organization and the morale are separ separated for everything also for the mobile units and for the tanks like for the tanks the organization the, the morale is here for the artillery uh, organization of most tanks is here and you've got your morale here so that's separated in several things you don't want to have one be left behind a lot so you gotta really watch that with the doctrines we are gonna work on this one put one here and we'll definitely add one here for the sea doctrines and the crew levels you want to get those up Britain is way ahead so in the beginning it's gonna be hard but eventually maybe with some paratroopers we can uh, take England now here we have the air doctrines We've put one here in the fighters and when we, once we get to 1937 we will work on this. Fighters are m very important for the strategic bombing England is going to do. And uh, we're going to work on, on the tactical as well. We are not going to build heavy bombers, we're going to ignore that. But we are going to work on these three trees. And maybe a little bit here eventually, but not in the beginning. You don't want to diversify too much. So that's for the research tree. Politics, we re renamed a few ministers. We've got uh, Helmar Schachtin, which gives you 10% IC. We put Goebbels on the security, which gives a leadership modifier 5%. Wilhelm Flick, we uh, put him on espionage. And we put uh, Fritz Beierlin as chief of staff, which gives us a supply bonus, which is very important, especially in the war against the Soviet Union. <coughs> we also changed uh, 
Goering out of the uh, Chief of Air Force because we want to put a focus on the uh, light aircraft, the fighters. Intelligence, we have put some priority to put spies in Austria and in our two allies a little bit and into France, Soviet Union, USA and United Kingdom. For the rest we haven't done anything yet, we don't want to start some actions yet when we get, uh, until we get 10 spies. So that's the setup I did. <coughs> I've got some production left it seems like. Let's queue something else up. Maybe another interceptor. Yep. Alright. And a few anti-tank weapons still. Yeah. As reserves, much cheaper that way. You will save some manpower, it will be uh, recalculated when you mobilize, but that's okay. It's very much more cheaper to build it that way, and that's good. Now let's see what that trade did with my income. Now we need to keep the income a little bit up for mixed industry. We want to get mixed industry. And here we go. Put the speed up. Sweden aligned themselves to us. Switzerland is uh, aligning themselves to us, that's nice. Reoccupation of the Rhineland, that's very nice, thank you. Yes! Yep, 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 we did that, that's nice. Reoccupation, what is this? How much money do we have? Seven. We definitely want some extra rare materials, but also metal. So we need to sell some more. We're going to accept that one. We are going to decline this one. And we are going to go into the diplomacy screen and see if the Soviet Union wants to buy some more supplies. Not right now. Okay. How about the US? Yes. Very nice. We're gonna sell them 20. Okay, it gives us more money. We're gonna buy some metals as well. How much are we missing? 48. Maybe from Belgium. Let's buy 10 from Belgium. And let's get a bunch from the Soviet Union. Okay. Let's see what those deals do. Accept it, accept it, accept it. Very nice. Italy wants to give me some rare metals, which may be a good idea. We want to get everything to positive. Oh uh, yeah, we are losing supply, so we need to change a little bit in the production. And put the supplies up a little bit. You only have to be a few ticks above. I like to keep that positive because sometimes it jumps. And here we want to build up a little bit of a surplus in supplies. You don't want to put too much in supplies but you can trade a little bit in it. That's no problem. And we're going to do that. We're going to take those rare materials. Energy. Yes, we can also uh, sell some energy actually. Who has a shortage of energy? Hungary. It doesn't give a lot of money, but still a little bit is nice. And we have a, a big surplus anyway, so let's see Brazil as well. 
sell them some energy. Here, take my energy, guys. Give me your money. Go. Netherlands wants to do some energy trading as well. Now, the, the AI... I don't re uh, for my immersion this is always written I like to do this stuff you know it's a bit tedious in the beginning but once you have everything running and you have good deals running and you get everything up to positive you will be grateful that you did it because you will not run out of you will not run out of supplies or resources during your war let's see accepted accepted Portugal declined Okay, and Yugoslavia declined as well. We still have 120 extra. Still missing some here, so we're going for... 17 energy, yeah, sure. Go. Now we don't have any free spies, maybe we should put something more in spies. Hungary is offering us a trade agreement, we will give them, yeah sure, why not. You're building up relations with those trade deals as well, so that's nice. Now we are going to sell some more supplies. We still have 8 uh, dollars counting, so that's good. Yes, America wants to buy a little more. Not too much. Except maybe Soviet Union wants to buy some more as well. Yes, they do. This time they do. 19 they would like, okay. Okay, let's do that, let's see. Yes, okay. Italy wants to give us rare materials, I'm fine with that. And you want to buy energy from us, that's fine as well. Now let's see, we've got 18 there and 20 there, so we're going to got find some deals for that. We've got 14 dollar in the plus. Now let's see, let's give us a little bit of 20. Yeah, okay, let's make more deals with the US because we want to pull them away from the, from the allies. Now they're still locked. Sweden maybe, yeah. Let's make that 20. Except Soviet Union as are still locked as well. We want some rare materials. Rare metals. How are they called again? Yeah, rare materials. Um, United Kingdom. Turkey has six. Well, let's wait until these two unlock. And we'll make a deal with them. February. And you guys. February. Now one more day, okay. We didn't decline. Oh, that's a shame. Yes, that's good. Rare materials, thank you. Okay, the rare materials are in the green. And we're gonna go for the metals now. America. Give me some of your metals. Let's do uh, 40. That should be the last metal deal for now. Oh wow, they refused. We have 10. Who else got some metal for us? Bolivia. Okay, let's try Bolivia. Oh, they're overseas, that's not gonna work. Sweden again, come on Sweden. 19. We can get 15 of them. There we go. Yeah, 15 metal. They accepted that. We want some oil as well. How much do we have? Yeah. Let's see an oil deal with somebody. Venezuela. Yeah, that's good. Give me some oil. Yep. 
Nice. They accepted it. Now some more metals would be nice. We still have gold. Gold really doesn't have much use in this game. Metals, yes, thank you. Come on America, give me some metals. Maybe. Let's uh, ask for 15. Okay, let's go. Yes. Alright. Sure, you can buy my energy. No problem. Graphs pay. Uh, we have renamed our uh, air forces, by the way, as well. We've got Luftflotte will be our bomber fleet. Um, Jagdflotte are our fighters. We separated them out. We want to have multi-purpose um, fighters to go with the tactical bombers. Not normal interceptors. We're going to use the interceptors for air superiority missions, stuff like that. So let's see, let's put you here, that's all right. We have money, so we're gonna, we actually forgot that. Um, here we go, it's gonna help a bit. Yep, let's go. Now consumer goods jump up because of that. Mixed industry, you get better efficiency. We're gonna leave this up a little bit. Four points above what we need to get some extra supplies because we're working on that totally. The upgrades are going down as you see, it was on 40, now it's on 31, so that will that will be going down, which is good. Now we got things settled up. Look, we even got positive oil with, with 10 traded for and 10 being converted. So that's gonna go up as well. And we're gonna keep it this way the whole way through to 1939. And hopefully even 1941. Some energy, sure, why not? We still got 100 kicking around. You want some energy as well, that's fine. We've got some destroyers. That's fine, you go there. This navy is not reachable, so we're going to put it uh, in uh, Stettin. Rebase that over there. Now here we go, we have some infamy. When it dropped off, it, that goes very quickly, especially when you're on speed 5, so we want to put this up a little bit. Maybe two points higher and it will run down again, no problem. What's all that? Oh, they want to give us fuel because the fuel is uh, negative, uh, we're not going to respond to that. We're going to put this in the second Kriegsmarine. There, we want to build up two nice fleets of 12. That's what we're aiming for there. Yeah, no, we we, uh, we don't need fuel, guys. No, no, thank you. Italy enforced puppet on Ethiopia. Okay. So the Italians were busy here and they did their thing. Which is fine. Ah. Anti-tank brigades. We're going to put them in infantry divisions that need it. Let's see. We're gonna put one here in Meppen. And we already put one in Meppen. We're gonna put one here as well. Alright. Energy. Oh, well, energy is fine. I've still got some energy laying around. What you got? Energy as well? Yeah, sure. Small arms advance. Okay. And infantry support weapons, okay. So we're gonna look at that, these are, that are these two. We're gonna move them uh, to militia. I want to go, so use militia in this game because they have a better suppression rate. 
and you will have much less revolt. So we want to build this up as well, we don't want to keep the tech behind on these. That's why we're moving them here and when it's 1937 these can move down to the infantry again. And we're gonna focus on infantry first of course, but there's no point in researching that when you're two years behind. We've got five, we, maybe we should go for a little bit more oil, or a, li a little bit more oil and a little bit more rare materials. Yeah, we should maybe. Light artillery and infantry weapons, anti-tank, okay, yep. So these two came right along as well. We're going to take this one off and put that on some equipment here. Do want to work on your equipments as well when they get close. Marine infantry is also an option right now. And we do want to unlock that actually, but let's see how long does this take? 241 days and this 286 days. Let's work on the marines first and then we're going to work on the equipment. Or when one of these pops here, we're going to move it over here. What is the yeah energy fine give me a little bit more money that's all right we've got a lot of small deals uh, with all kinds of small countries so that they won't join the allies quick and that's good this is good as well we are very positive with supplies we've got some space here yeah Ah, our infantry uh, units are done. And that's fine. So we're gonna, like I said, we want to make the headquarters a part of a fighting unit. So for that we need some brigades. And I would like to have light armor brigades for that. We're gonna make uh, two. No, two. Okay, and we're gonna queue up three more infantry divisions. Oh yeah, I've, what I also did uh, as a before work, because that's a lot of work sometimes. Well, you can do it quickly, but I adjusted my units. So what you see here is a one panzer. This is going to be my light panzer unit. One motorized armor division and a motorized anti-aircraft gun. Uh, because you have a lot of combined arm bonus this way. Infantry, I put it up to infantry brigades and anti-tank brigade and an artillery same for the mountain divisions airlanders are only paratroopers this is going to be my guard unit three mps and one garrison motorized going to consist of two motorized brigades an armored car and a motorized aa now the moment you get access to self-propelled artillery we're going to change this one for self-propelled artillery also for the panzer units and when the brigades allowed turn to five we are going to put in the motorized AA again so that's motorized this we, we can't make this yet because mechanized is not an option yet for infantry 1942 we put this on uh, as our SS unit which becomes available after a certain amount of units built you can build a special unit for the Russians for example it's the it's the guards and for the Germans it's the SS um, heavy armor or medium armor, we don't have that yet. Heavy armor is gonna come here. Panzer 1943, we're gonna use that tab for heavy armor. And then we got two empty ones, maybe for super heavy armor and anything else that comes up. But for now, we're gonna queue up uh, three uh, infantry divisions in par parallel as reserves. So that's nice there. And let's run the time again. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, we're gonna go for some oil, some more oil and some more. Maybe rare materials is more necessary. Anyway, we've got some units to, uh, to put in. Three infantry. We've got one, two, three, four, five here, that's good. So we're going to actually move the armies a little bit over the front. Do that. Okay, we've got that. So here, we're going to place... I've got three here and this uh, corp. First, 
Panzer Corp. This is uh, Panzers. I've got my first three here. One more light will be added to this and then two mediums. Or maybe I will do two mediums and put the light ones here in a new one. I want to have two Panzer, all Panzer Corpses. That means five divisions here pushing towards Warsaw. And I will put second one here pushing to Warsaw from the south. So this infantry division is going to come here, which is also a core with three infantry divisions. I want to fill everything up to five. So we're going to put these guys here. And then attach them to which one is this the fourth army corps. It's often the closest one like this. I like to keep things disciplined that way. Who do we have here? We want to have uh, appropriate a general on that. I want to keep this one for um, tanks because of the supply consumption. It's very nice. Do we have any more offensive guys? No, only this is old guard. It, uh, it limits your experience gain, so you basically want to keep those guys in the guard units, the um, the policing units uh, that p control the occupied territory that we're going to get. Okay, so let's just appoint one of these guys, uh, this guy for example, okay, and von Kleist is too good for that one, we want him on an army or something, so we're gonna use this guy in the 4th army corps, and you move one of these guys here, and then we've got these guys over here we got all offensive doctrine guys on the infantry divisions as well on the army corpses so we put him that last one we put him over here we're going to give him a good commander i want to do this right from the start so that you don't you just don't put them down and they all have random commanders and some rank five generals in in one uh, in one division you don't want that you don't want to rank five on the division and way too good for that okay a, a engineer that's fine you get a bonus to river attack okay so that's gonna be it for this first episode guys i hope you enjoyed it and we will push on uh, in the next episode toward 1947 and we'll look at some tech and uh, how we're doing then Make sure to, uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like the video, leave me a comment, and if you want to see more, subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.